Monaco welcomes Strasbourg at the Stade Jean-Louis Deux, looking for a win that could take them joint top of the league with Paris pending their game with Lyon. Strasbourg had only one point in their last three matches. Thierry Loré's men in a desperate need of goals and confidence. So a trip to the defending champions, not the easiest of matches to get them back to winning ways. And it didn't seem that things would go well for the visiting side. Fabinho playing in Falcao, rebounds to Stefan Jovetic, a delightful chip, but it bounced just off the crossbar. Jovetic in his second start for Monaco, first coming when they were beaten 4-0 by Nice. Then a chance for Strasbourg in the 34th minute, a cross by Da Costa, Aholu heads over, and his teammate Mangane getting in the way. Then the deadlock was broken shortly afterwards. Falcao playing the ball across to Ronnie Lopez. Lopez getting his first goal of the season. It's great work by the Colombian, the captain of Monaco. And in the end, an easy finish. Half-time down in the south of France, Monaco one goal to the good. Strasbourg resisting valiantly during the first 45 minutes. And they even could have opened the mark. But after the break, Leonardo Yardim's men got into their groove. And it didn't take long for them to double the score. Falcao once again the man to break the deadlock. It's a good cross by the left back Jorge with the assist Falcao was offside it's a terrible mistake by the assistant referee Strasbourg now two goals down with a seemingly impossible task made even worse when the captain Mangan made a horrible mistake and Falcao blasting it in his ninth goal of the season Falcao top of the leading scorers league. What a finish. The Colombian back to his very best after unsuccessful spells at Manchester United and Chelsea. Monaco breathing a new life into him. Monaco back in joint first of the league. Strasbourg remained the penultimate team in Liga. They defended valiantly but caved under pressure in the second half. A good win for Monaco before their trip to Lille next week.